what's going on everybody so i'm at the house right now as y'all can see i'm in the sleeper of the truck with the house so i'm taking the truck to the shop because we're going to get some work done to it but i have to take everything out of my sleeper first primero tengo que sacar todo lo que tengo aquí en el camarote Headed to the east side of Houston. That's where I'm dropping off the truck and getting the work done to it. Vamos para el este de Houston. Allá voy a dejar el camión. Es donde le van a hacer el trabajo. I'll see you guys when we get over there. I just got to the guy's shop. This is the guy that did my rear window. He's the one that's going to be working on the truck. Él es el que va a estar trabajando en el camión. And take a very good look at the truck right now because it's going to be way different when it's finished. Miren el camión bien ahorita porque va a estar bien diferente cuando lo termine. So what we're doing, he's going to open this up and we're doing the Unibuilt sleeper conversion kit that goes all the way out here me le van a poner el de Peterville el que es más abierto que viene como hasta acá entonces van a abrirle aquí adentro this seat is gonna go on that side and I'm putting the new seat right here este asiento me lo van a mover para allá y el nuevo va a ir aquí so that's what we're doing to the truck eso es lo que se le va a hacer al camión So today is my son's birthday, Junior's birthday. Hoy es el cumpleaños de mi hijo. And he really likes trucks. So I came and bought him one of these. I just noticed that if I take these two little screws out, si le quito esos dos tornillos, the sleeper comes off. So I think I'm gonna do that. I think it would look way nicer as a day cab. Miraría más bonito sin el camarote. Oh yeah, look at that. That looks way better. Se ve mucho mejor así. It even has a back window right here. También tiene tiene ventana atrás. I'm going to give it to him like that. Así solo voy a dar. Come on. Go. Come on, eat it. Eat it. Eat it. Is good? Monster trucks. Let me see. Open it. Wow. Monster trucks. It's right there. That's nice. We don't know the cake. Close your eyes. I close it. Up into her eyes. Now I up it. You like it? Yes. 
What is it? ¿Qué es? Camión. It's a W900. Yeah. You like it? Yeah. One eternity later. Ah, le estamos haciendo una inversión, un marco de Peter Bill, de un camión Peter Bill para, para que aquí mi cliente pueda entrar con su, con su asiento para atrás, tenga más, que se recargue, que él no esté así, se pueda meter con el asiento para atrás. Y el coquete lo hacemos más grande, cortamos lo que es la cabina del la cabina y el camarote. Le cortamos y le ponemos los marcos del Peterbilt. Le ponemos su empaque, su cuota que le dicen. Para que ya no lleve la original que lleva antes, que siempre con estas de Kingor siempre liquea. Esto siempre liquea. Entonces la vamos a poner de Peterbilt para que quede más amplio y él pueda recortarse con su asiento. Esto aquí en la tapicería, esto aquí se recorta Diferente ya la medida Y queda todo exacto como que no pasó nada señores Para esto era lo que traía antes, un poquito pequeño, nada como la tengo con esto Vean Esto era lo que antes Ahora ya esto va a ser más grande Más amplio So they already finished the truck, we're on the way to pick it up now
that's the highest it goes. Esto es lo más alto que, que sube. So it doesn't go up that much, about four inches, I want to say, or maybe even three. No sube mucho, solo como tres o cuatro pulgadas, pero muy cómodo el asiento. It came out very good. I love it. I love it. It's amazing. So as you guys saw, I gave the truck a good detail. Le di una buena limpieza al camión. I cleaned the, the floors in here in the sleeper. Limpié los pisos. That's still a little bit dirty in there, but I tried my best to clean it. I'll do it um, every other time. Cada que pueda, voy a tratar de limpiar allá adentro. And here's the other side. Este es el otro lado que limpié. This one was bad, I mean, it had um, that plastic on top of it and underneath it, there was like a lot of water. So I still need to clean it. And it's gonna be a process to get it looking nice, but I'll do that slowly. Va a ser un proceso limpiar aquí porque todavía está un poco sucio. Como tenía la carpeta y tenía agua abajo. Let me show you guys how dirty that sleeper was. Miren lo sucio que estaba el camión de adentro, el camarote. All of this came from the sleeper. Todo esto salió del camarote. But now I'm going to show you guys what you want to see. Ya les voy a enseñar lo que quieren ver. So there's the legacy low seat. The lowrider scene I got. And it's all the way down right now. Ahorita está hasta abajo. And just look at the opening. Miren que abierto quedó ahora sí. I can literally recline this seat all the way back. Ahora sí el asiento se va hasta atrás. And I have way more space. Tengo mucho más espacio. I have a lot of space now. And they had to cut this right here. Tuvieron que cortarle aquí to use that air gun to put the new um the new trim. So that's the reason why the the sleeper got shortened. This top piece Para que entrara la manguera de aire tuvieron que cortar aquí. But I got a solution for that already. I'm going to Peterbilt right now. I'm buying a smaller um a smaller mattress. Ahorita voy a ir a Peterbilt a comprar el colchón más chico. A few moments later. So I went to Peterbilt and picked up the new mattress already. Check out the new mattress. It's almost like the other one, but it is actually a bit shorter as you can see. Ya fui a comprar la cama nueva, como ven, está un poquito más corta que la otra. And I have some space on both ends. But that doesn't matter, I'm going to get two more pillows like that, a little bit shorter. Put them on the sides. And, yeah, I really like how it came out. Everything came out pretty good. I have an idea to do a couple lights down here. Tengo idea para ponerle focos aquí abajo. I still have to finish this upholstery right here. Tengo que todavía terminar de, de taparle aquí. But that's something simple, not too worried about that. Now one of the reasons why I went with a smaller uh, mattress is because now I have space here to sit down, put my feet down there, and also I can put more stuff. I'll maybe add some speakers. Pero una razón es que ahora sí me puedo sentar aquí, meter los pies allá adentro. So there you have it guys. This was the Unibuilt conversion on my 2003 Kenworth T800. And 
we're pretty much good to go the interior is coming along pretty good one of the last things to do in here now is just change that dash that broken dash pero bueno esta fue la conversión que le hicimos al T800 ya una de las últimas cosas que falta es cambiarle el tablero que está muy quebrado but that will be it for this video I'll see you guys on the next one nos vemos en el video que sigue